Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you two cool factoring tricks. So the first one is similar to difference of squares. So this one states that if you have something like x to the n minus y to the n, we can actually factor it. So in the case of difference of squares, we already know that x squared minus y squared results in x plus y times x minus y. But in this case, x to the n minus y to the n can factor as this jarbled mess. So if you want to figure out what this is, you can multiply this out and you'll find that it equals this because a lot of terms actually cancel out. And here's an example because this looks super complicated, but it's actually not that complicated. So let's say we're trying to find x to the n minus, uh, whoops x to the fourth minus 81. And we notice that 81 is actually 3 to the fourth. So we can apply this and we can just say that this x minus 3 time this becomes this. I'm going to just do it real this stuff. So we see that it's just increasing powers of 3, the coefficients of this polynomial right here. And other than this trick, there's also another trick that I will just write down. So if x is to some odd power, so we can write this as 2m plus 1 which means this is odd, plus y to the 2m plus 1. This can also factor, as long as these are even, and this also factors. And this can factor as this complicated mess. And, of course, we're going to give an example again, because this is way too complicated. So let's say we're doing x to the fifth minus plus 32 and since 32 is 2 to the fifth we can apply this and we'll end up getting this and you can see it's again kind of similar to what we saw above here but instead the coefficients are alternating between negative and positive negative and positive so these are two cool factoring tricks, and you can just pay attention to the examples because they're much easier to understand other than the generalized versions because these look way too complicated. But if you look at these examples, they're pretty easy to understand. And also, it's really easy to prove. All you have to do is just multiply it out and you'll see why it works. Or you can also divide using synthetic division, which I have in another video, and I will put a link to it in the description. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and make sure to watch my other videos.